I've never told this online, and also. Oh, uh, I love. Is, it, also, is this rolling? <laughs> it's called Magic Mike. Oh, Magic Show. Yeah, what disappeared um, and what appeared? <laughs> yeah, is my question. <laughs> You and I, it was you at one point. Whoa! Whoa. Is this thing rolling? Whoa. Are these things recording this? Did, Did we get that? On? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Oh, this true star right here. Of course, Cat wants to be in it. All right, well. Oh my gosh, so official. Come on in. So. Oh, this is. Testing, hello, testing. Oh my goodness. Welcome. Look at this. All right, guys, we got <laughs> Neza in the room. Yeah, let's go, Nez. Let's, let's go. get it. We got Seb over here in the corner. What's up, everybody? This is Brighter Side. Brighter Side, Brighter Side. Brighter Side, Brighter Side, Brighter Side. Okay, Nez, welcome. Thanks for having me. Is this cool? Does it work? This is very cool, you yes. Can, you can hear? Yeah. yeah. This is good? Yeah. Okay, cool. Sam, you good? I don't hear anything. I, I don't love having oh. <laughs> So I don't know if you I sound good or not. In? I love that Sam's is in the corner. Uh, oh, yeah. man. This is crazy. Okay, welcome, Nez. You Thanks. are officially the second person. Who was the first? Wow. But I don't know if that's going in order, but okay. just for the record, you're the second one. Okay. So Second the we're, best. We're winging it. Okay. Truly winging it. <laughs> but this is brighter side. We're going to have fun. We're going to have some good combos. Yep. It's going to be good. Cap is making his brighter side debut. debut. This yes, is my this is, this is my uh, my nephew Cap. Oh, yeah. It'd the be. best in the whole wide world. Oh. oh. Which is crazy yeah. to see how he's being very lovey-dovey right now. With me? Yeah. Because he loves me. He really, truly does. Yeah, he does. Also, it took you probably few seconds to get down here because, <laughs> because we're neighbors we're neighbors it's true bobby goes so are you like are you coming down or and I was like, yeah <laughs> he like, was nervous this whole time really too. no that's pretty like, convenient i got your text this morning and i was like and i just forgot to text you back i was like oh. i'll be there and then hey. i saw the clock it was like 3 44 and i was like oh, i should probably walk downstairs yeah i was like okay everything's set up <laughs> You coming down? Yeah. So it really worked out. Yeah, it did. Yeah. But that's good. Okay, so I, I'm starting off the podcast Okay. asking everyone the same question. Okay. I like this. What's your happiest memory? In true brighter side Whoa. fashion, when you go back into that brain of yours, what's, well, what's the happiest memory? Happiest memory? It could be childhood. It could be recent. It could be just like, what's a time that you're like, this is... I'm going to remember this. I'm in my moment here. I love this. This wow. is great. There's a lot. So that's hard to that's, just pinpoint one. That's nice that there's a um, lot. Yeah, there's a lot. But what's your happiest ever in the world? That's so but hard. only one. Were you able to answer <laughs> that? World. No one's asked me before. <laughs> <laughs> when when you interviewed Gabriel, was he able to answer that on the spot? Uh, it took him a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Um, First thing that pops up into my head is the day I found out that I got signed as a dancer. Ooh. So when I got that email, I think that day was like just was height has heightened. Yeah. Um, there's this other, <laughs> this other memory that pops up for some reason, but I don't know if I want to talk Dude, about. what is it? Tell us. <laughs> you, you, you have to. You pretty much have to I don't know now. why. It's it so crazy. I don't know why this is what's like, you said happiest moment. And for some reason, my brain just like went to this. That's what it's, that's, no, but I don't that's think that's genuine so. happiest. And I also like, I've never told this online and also, oh, bridge, I love, is, it, also, is this rolling? She's, she's just, she's just I dragging know, this out. I know. It's, it, it was a moment with, with, in my six year relationship. Okay. Um, it was, oh God, if he ever watches what? this. What is um, it? What is she about to say? No, nervous. it was, no, it was, um, about the fart. It was, oh boy. <laughs> It was prom. Okay. Okay. Classic. Classic prom. High school prom. Um. Well, I went to his prom. This is. I was already like Different out schools. here. Yes. Okay. Um. Went to his prom and, uh. So we're, we were both dancers. Oh boy! You guys had a dance off mid prom. No. Oh, no. That was um, classic movie. <laughs> well, okay. So basically, um, the final song of the night was "Treasure." That is. The okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Last song of the night, prom, treasure. Yeah. We already had like the best night ever because we're just like in our own little world. And that song comes on and we just like, 
everyone in our minds like disappeared and we just had this like moment together this like we were just like dancing like like just as you two if or no you're one saying was like watching a, okay like we almost forgot that everyone was there and was like, like a choreographed dance that you no guys not oh. even it was like it was like my it was like my one of my movie moments i'm like holy sh- this is are like you watering movie. up right now no not really oh. <laughs> it's been a long time but like we didn't realize that everyone had spread out and was just watching us oh like that's how in our own world we was were it s- it's like a movie no it's it like was. a fast pace because that song's like yeah faster it, yeah like and what were you guys doing we were just like for everyone to move around you like, you guys had to do something. No, nothing. Like, we were just like, I, like you know when you dance in your room, like, no one's watching? I don't really dance. All right, let oh. me sing it. Okay. Treasure. That That's what you're doing? I don't remember. A lot of, oh. a lot of flailing of the arms. No, it was a lot of, like, him twirling me and, like... Twirling? Dipping, like, it was, it like was, in it, the air? It was really cute. Yeah. No. It was really cute, and we cried afterwards. Really? Yeah, we cried afterwards. Wow, because, that's that's a moment. Well, because someone came up to us and was like, "I just want to let you know, like that was like really beautiful to watch. Wow, like to watch you too. Wow. Um. So yeah, for some reason that comes up in my head, like that, that made, moment. That made my heart feel a little happy. Oh yeah. I don't. I haven't spoken really to him in it, five years. Oh, so. Whoa, what a tragic <laughs> turn. <laughs> I bet you. <laughs> like, his heart hurt. I know. haven't. Yeah, I haven't talked to him in five years. Yeah, that was a tragic turn here on writer side um <laughs> but that is a nice memory I yeah like it that. was it was it was it was um my my movie moment yeah mm-hmm. you know like nice. people have like the like kissing in the rain yeah i've never done that i don't think i've ever done that either i've I feel never like had that moment i get where, the like, flu after right you I've just get to catch a cold <laughs> <laughs> you just kiss hey. rain <laughs> yeah. whoa well that's good that's nice yeah i like that cute little moment and then it turned tragic i hear Oh, God. That you just came back from a little crazy weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something in the I, realms of... I knew it. Vegas. I knew that this was going to come up in conversation. I yes. mean, they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but... No, or it ends up on the internet. That True. is what they say. That is like new. True. And this is... We are currently on the internet. Yeah. Basically. Yes. What, why'd you go... Well, first off, why did you go to Vegas? And it was a quick trip from what it I know. It was. It was. We were there for like 12 hours. Who's we? Uh, me and Franny, hmm. of course. Um, I smell trouble. <laughs> oh, for sure. Um, I, for Franny's birthday, yeah. if you guys saw my blog, I got her tickets to That's go to it. Vegas. Oh, like to uh, maybe a Circus Soleil? Uh, to Elton John? To see a, a show. A Blue really Man Group. Really classic, uh, really f- uh, family friendly. Circus um, de Soleil. Um, oh, it's called it's called Katy Perry. M- it's called Magic Mike. Oh, magic show. Yeah, dude, I saw Lance dude. Burton in Vegas yeah. once. I love magic tricks. Yeah, it was the best Have you seen Lance magic Burton? show ever. Have you seen Lance Burton in Vegas? Who the heck is no. that guy? Lance Burton. <laughs> Lance David Burton. Copperfield. Lance I don't know who that is. Penn and Teller. I know Penn and Teller. Can you guys go to Vegas more? <laughs> I have no idea. Probably like 10, 10 years lot, ago. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know he goes to Vegas a lot. I do. Gambling problem. Just kidding. I lose a lot. Uh, so you went to Magic Mike. Magic Mike. Was it magical? It was, it was, um, it was interesting. Okay, walk <laughs> us through, because we, I, I'm not going to say we, I've never been to a Magic Mike show. <laughs> I love magic. I mean, neither have I. I've seen the movies. I have a friend named Mike. Good guy. Good I guy. have a question about this Magic Mike show. Yes. yes. What type of magic trick? <laughs> tricks? Yeah, what disappeared um, and what appeared? <laughs> yeah. Is my question. <laughs> A lot of magical um, reappearing. Can I bring yeah, my a lot baby of cousin? a lot of articles of clothing reappearing and disappearing. Oh, whoa. Okay, so what's the, like general vibe? Like, are you? Is it just like a bunch of I wild like women just like shouting, hooting, it was, hollering? It was an experience. I've never done anything like that, and yeah. I think I more did it to experience Franny in that in that scenario because, oh, as boy. you guys know, Franny, she's very like you know anxiety yeah. driven already and so like that we will never forget that night together it was hilarious okay but so but you okay you walk <coughs> in is it you it's just in. a bunch of women is there guys there is there, there was maybe like i saw maybe like three guys okay but Dang. it's all women like it's mainly like bachelorette parties like we talking like vibe. ladies in like their 30s 40s 50s Correct. like what's like the Correct. like a lot of is there older women there very much so. That's like the like main. Like even 50s, 60s. Were you guys like the youngest okay. ones there? We're pretty much, yeah. Whoa. We, I just, yeah. I feel like in those situations, there's just like, uh, they just get wild. It was. Like the ladies just like, like it just brings out like some sort of something in them. Yeah. Well, also they give you a safe word. 
What was the safe? Wait, what? what do you mean? They give you a safe word in case like you get you're like oh I actually don't like you're not comfortable like if they come over and like want to like dance on you or something. Really? They give you a safe word Isn't and also music loud. What if they don't hear it? Kind of. It's what kind was of the loud. Safe word? It was unicorn. But the guys can weird. also say unicorn if what? they feel uncomfortable. <laughs> They're like what? unicorn. <laughs> Get off me. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, unicorn. Okay. And we were front Did you row. ever say unicorn? No. <laughs> Did they dance on you? Okay. Hold on, Wait, everyone. Wait, why didn't you say it? So, because... Okay. So, Franny was like, if they come near me, I'm screaming unicorn. And I was like, bet. <laughs> and um, all of a sudden, she forgot. <laughs> we, were, we were front row. The stage is like a perfect square. Yeah. And the seat's all around. Front row's all around, like right up against the stage. Oh, I feel like I'm there. And then it's just like a big like theater. So there's like seats everywhere. It's like very, it looks like a bar. Okay. Um, and this host comes out and he's like, hey, blah, 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 right. And then he looks at me and he's like, what's your name? And Franny and I instantly right off the start, bat? Pa- like 30 seconds into Wait, the show. Wait, your first row? Yes. Oh. 30 seconds in, Franny and I start panicking. He's like, what's your name? And I'm like, Neza. He's like, everyone say hi, Neza, blah, blah, blah. This was like a fake host. I don't know how to explain it without ruining the show. Like, hey. Yeah, basically. Okay. And then Inaza. and then out of nowhere this man hops off the stage. Mind you, we're on a couch. Yeah. Hops off the stage. A couch. Where did the couch we're, come from? We're I'm on so a couch. Con- okay. So the the front row seats, it's very like lounge vibes. Yeah. So we're on couches. There's there's like I was also next to the stairs. So no, I realized quick, quick exit. I very I instantly realized I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm very easy access, like to anyone who's coming on this stage or and there's no who, one who chose the seats. Franny was originally there, but I was but then we switched because she was mm-hmm. like, <laughs> okay, okay. So host asked for my name and then he hops up the stage, hops onto me. Whoa! Whoa! He just became the show. Became the show, and I was so confused, and it all happened so fast. What are you he, wearing? I was wearing a dress, long dress. Okay. Yeah, I was pretty. I just don't know if it's like a two-way street. I don't know. I'll keep going. <laughs> so that happened. And I was like, what? Like 30 seconds in? How is this going to go? Yeah. And then um, I recognized one of the dancers. What? Longtime friend. We haven't seen each other in like 10 years. And we lock eyes. And I was like, oh, no. <gasps> oh, my <laughs> gosh. It's the guy from 24 Karat Gold. Like, oh I was like, oh, boy. no, or Franny. Treasure. I was like, Franny. I was like, that... Just, okay, right? And yeah. so there's a point in the show where he just happens to be on our side. Did you see him see you? Yes. Okay. And, yeah, and then he hops off the stage to originally dance on Franny. Are you guys having, like, do you have, like, dollars? Or that's not that type of situation. Not it's really just that. a show. You already like, paid the they ticket. They give you fake money to, like, throw out, but no one throws it out, okay. really. Yeah. Um, but it comes out as, like, confetti and stuff. Okay. But, so I know Franny's, like, going into panic mode, so I just go... I just start saying his name. I'm not going to say his name, but I'm like, and then he's like, and he gets, he gets, he understands what I'm trying to tell him. So then he hops onto me instead. Um, Wait, he was on her? He was going to. <laughs> he was like making his way to her and Franny was like panicking. What? Um, and I was like, Ugh! and he's like, okay. And then danced on me and it was so funny. And I was like, hi. And he was like, hi, this is so weird. I'm okay. Like, I, have so a, weird. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, how do... <laughs> Like, how do girls receive a lap a dance? dance? Yeah, like, what are they doing on you? Like, what are they? <laughs> <laughs> this is getting ju- this like is I'm getting just saying, just like a quick, just a quick little like, what are they? Like, are they just like booty shaking okay, so on you? Okay, so if he was here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At first, he's just kind of standing there. He like grabs your hands. He's like, oh, you can just like you start. You like can well, like okay. whatever, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 and yeah. then he just kind of just does his his dance on you. Like he's doing like a string dance, like. Ooh, no, like he like straddles like you. Ro- He's doing the hokey pokey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just starts doing the hokey pokey. Yeah. Okay, and you obviously said unicorn at this point. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but like, is that like their go-to? They're just like kind of on top of you. Yeah, they do like they'll just do they go they go around and you know they they do the the whole thing. They bring people on stage. Okay. For the most part, I will say Magic Mike is like one of the more like. Mm, like classier of the show. It sounds no like. one ever gets naked. Oh, okay. Um, and it's more because they're hired dancers. They hire dancers for the show, so it's oh, very so it's, it's like very more, more choreo dancey. based. Yeah, okay. but also very stripper based. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so it's like all best in all, it was, it was fun. It was good. It was fun. I ended up entertaining getting three lap dances that night. Oh my gosh! I was like the belle of the ball, apparently. Which um, was a new record for you? Ye- or? Well, I'd never done anything like that <laughs> ever. Okay. Yeah. But did you guys leave like that was a fun, like entertaining show? 
for me, yeah. <laughs> Friend, you're just I was shaking. Like <laughs> <laughs> like, you unicorn. I was like <laughs> ten out of ten experience. Yeah, so it was worth the flight over there for yeah. that. Because did you guys just do that and then you came back? We did that. We had dinner. Flew back. Did you gamble? No. Not one? No, because our flight was delayed. Ooh. So we get there with like maybe 30 minutes to spare. So we, yeah, it was a mess. It just went straight to Nothing it. Nothing ever goes planned with me and Franny when it comes to trips. Something always goes wrong. That we had interesting. We had everything planned. Flight, dinner reservation, get dressed, go to the show. Maybe do something after. Yeah. We got there so late that we, we got to the, we got to, I was checking in at the hotel at 8.45. Yeah. We had to be in an Uber by 9.15. What? So we Dang. raced upstairs and like didn't even like, I was doing my makeup on the plane in anticipation that this was how it was going to go. Yeah. But then, then you stayed there, right? We stayed. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then we had tacos at two in the morning <laughs> because there, we didn't get to have dinner prior. So. Yeah. So they, they didn't give you like steaks or anything at the show? No, just drinks. Oh. Dang, you and Franny are like a duo. Didn't like something happen to you guys when you were on like on the beach with so with many, the wind? so many. Yes, my my hat flew away, and then we tried to chase it, but we were in the middle of a windstorm that we didn't know what was happening. <laughs> and then I peed my pants. <laughs> you peed heck? your pants. I'm sure this happens to you too, but all these energy drinks out there make me jittery and then I crash hard. I personally don't like that feeling at all. It's like one of my least favorite things to feel. So I am happy when I came across Magic Mind. It gives me a quick energy boost and it also helps my focus, which I know a lot of us need. It's become a part of my morning routine and it helps me get into the right state of mind to have a productive day. It has nootropics and matcha to reduce stress too and has all natural ingredients no sugar. And it's vegan and keto friendly. Joe Rogan had it on his podcast and it's used by some of the best surfers in the world. And I got the hookup for you. Go to magicmind.com slash brighter side and use code brighter side 20 for 56% off your first subscription or 20% off your one-time purchase. And they're one of the companies that have a 100% money back guarantee. If you don't like it, no questions asked. So there's really no risk. And that's Magic Mind. Click the link in the video's description to go check it out. Cheers. And let's get back into the episode. It's do on I, video. Do it's I know on this? Franny's, like she post, I'm pretty sure she posted it on TikTok. Do I know this? When was this? Yeah, this was in when we went to Cabo last year. You peed your pants? I full on. What do you do no as an adult when you peed, peed your my pants? pants. Like, I was you, laughing so hard. I was like, like it's, cool. that's it. You just went pants. to the ocean? You, you're you currently peeing your pants? <laughs> no, but I do it in the ocean sometimes. <laughs> oh, well, I mean that. I've heard people do that. I've never personally done that. Oh, really? Or in a pool. I ha- you're I, a liar. I don't go into the ocean You're often. a liar. Even at four years old, you weren't peeing in pools? I don't remember. Probably not. I live in New Mexico. What There's the not heck? a lot of pools. It's not like a pool type yeah, I situation. Think, yeah. I, d- I didn't have okay, a pool. Okay, well, I've peed in many pools oh, in my you're lifetime. Like, you're like really within the last 10 years, how many times have you peed in your pants? Just that one time. <laughs> Just that one time? Yeah. yeah. Dang, is she shaming you? <laughs> She's like, you pee your pants every day. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. <laughs> It was a good time. That sounds like a good time. It was. There's always something that happens with Franny and I. Well, I will say the other day, okay. we had a situation. We couldn't uh, figure out some type of movie thing. And you decided okay. to just ditch everyone okay, no. and no. go by yourself. Okay. Which is, I don't know if that's like a thing. You, <laughs> it is a thing. You say it's, it's a thing. It's a thing now. I will forever, not forever, but I think I... It's my new thing. I think going to the movies alone is like my new favorite thing. I've Amen. never tried it. Amen. You go to the movies alone? I go to the movies all the time by myself. I love it. It's so soothing. So he, here's the thing. He goes to Disney sometimes by I'll go himself. to Disney by myself. That's a that's a new okay, level. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> She's Rewind here. before we get into me ditching you. Okay. You you go into the park and actually ride the rides or you're just going to like downtown Disney okay, grabbing salt and straw. a little sad. Um, <laughs> oh wait, like are you going to downtown Disney grabbing salt and straw and leaving or are you going into the park? I'll go into the park but Buy I'll a balloon you, okay. by himself. No, I do not. I do not. <laughs> unicorn. Walks oh, around with Walks around with one balloon. <laughs> no, I go into the park. Okay. I, okay, back then like when the park was, was closed. A week, a week ago? Oh, (laughs) no. Well, actually, it was at Disney a week ago by myself. But, (laughs) but I go, okay, back then when the park was closed, I was like, all right, I'm going to go by myself. I haven't been to the park in a while. All my friends don't have annual passes. So I'm going to go. See that subtle, uh, I'm going to go by myself, hang out, all that stuff. But now it's my workspace. So I go there, I bring my laptop, and I just work there. Honestly, love that. Yeah. It's nice, right? I would do that. I'd go and edit. Yeah, I literally edit at the parks. 
And then I'll just grab a churro and I'll go home. <laughs> I wonder if you're just like Push known. A kid on I to wonder the side. if like secretly you're known as the guy that brings his laptop to Disneyland and like everyone people know. Yeah, like he's just become a thing. Yeah, yeah, that could be. Like all so. other annual pass holders, they see you and they're like, "Oh, that's that one." And guy. he just becomes like a thing. Yeah. What's that thing? Is it I don't a good know. Thing? I don't know. Maybe oh. you're just like the laptop. Anyways, Disney back guy. to your movie. Sorry. Thing. Okay, yes, but yeah, I ditched so Bobby. You ditched me. But you're I like, just I'm just gonna go alone because. And you did, which is fine. Because. Okay, Guardians of the Galaxy is like my favorite of the entire saga like i've been waiting so long yeah, for this yeah. movie no spoilers no spoilers but like i had it i've had it in my calendar since like they the first time it was announced like yeah whatever yeah and i had tried to schedule with people to go see it and it was it was a week after i was like how have i not seen <laughs> guardians that's how it goes sometimes it's like it doesn't it and it pushes back i still never seen spider-man the what? last spider-man because of that Wait. it's like oh this person can't go okay i'll go and try next week oh, okay go i can't i didn't go you Bro, haven't seen, i never went you yourself. didn't see the spider-man the last where Spider -Man. they all came back oh did that happen I didn't, wait i don't know first of all you it was spoiled now. it was spoiled a long but time ago i'm yeah. like holy yeah but that's okay. what happened to me so i understand okay so it was it was a week you had it i had you i went. was like i'm going i'm literally just on the spot because i told you i was like can we go tonight and you were like no. and so i was like <laughs> that is how i text back guys <laughs> by the way and so i was like i'm just gonna go right now and i booked yeah. tickets it was like a showing like 30 minutes to go and i was and i just drove and there went by myself and then i ran into fans the, see, that's why I don't want to go. And I was Not like, of why. course, the first time I have ever gone to the movies yeah. alone, I run into fans, and I was like, that's dang, I'm, I must look like such a loser. Well, yeah, that's Who the thing. Like, I don't, like I don't me. care. I don't care what people like. I am pretty high tolerance of like, I don't care what people think and say or whatever. Yeah. Like, I'll do whatever I want. But yeah. there's something about going to the movies alone, and then someone that like watches a video of mine is like, oh hey, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here alone. No, it doesn't help. I don't know I'm, why. <clears throat> yeah. It doesn't help that like it was literally, it was the day of my why we broke up video. <laughs> and oh, goodness. <laughs> and she told me, she was like, I just watched your video. And I go, which one? Not thinking because I had just posted oh, it. And she has and to she say it to like, your face. And she was like, oh, um, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> What the heck? Yeah, that's, that's tough. But she was so sweet. She was so sweet. And so yeah. it all works out. Yeah. Are you excited for The Little Mermaid? Uh, no, I no, am. see, that's this week. No, well, that's when we're filming this. I should buy tickets now. Honestly, yeah. I was saying, this guy's a, a big movie critic. I always go with him. Sometimes I'm just like, no, I don't, I want to skip it because he always walks out and he's like, I will say, 6.2. I will say, I'm not hating on it and I'm not going to because hey. The Little Mermaid? I'm not going to hate on it because. Me neither. That's what I've been telling him this whole time. Yeah, because Hallie, Hallie's, Hallie's, I know Hallie's going to. The, just she's unreal she's well you and just go first name basis huh well i've i've known chloe and hallie since like i don't even remember how i met them but since like wait who's hallie hallie mary bro are you talking about hallie mary it, it, i know uh, i just uh, hallie by itself culture. i don't know the cool. little mermaid what's her last name mermaid bailey <laughs> oh i thought hallie Bur is hallie barry in it yeah <laughs> she plays with the mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but there. Does Lil Mermaid like, have a mom? But can we talk? Can we? Can we just talk? Since we're all like movie buffs, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe us more than you. I went to Damn. film school. <laughs> I went to film school. True, true, true. Um, do you think? See how it gets. Do you think it was smart of them to put out a movie, um, very underwater based CGI right after Avatar? Oh, I haven't seen smart. Avatar. Because Avatar is going to be hard to beat when it comes to the no, the, but the, the Little Mermaid is like magical for sure. The part music. of your world is my favorite Disney song of oh, all time. It is my go-to song. It's yeah, I think the the story and the classic of Little Mermaid. Th it, there's no comparing to other stuff. I gotta admit something. What? So I've been like watching the snippets on YouTube of it. I don't like Under the Sea. Whoa, like, bro! Hold up! No, no you, like, you, you I hold that in hold over up, there hold up, hold in that corner over there. You hold that in. Okay, wait. Okay, wait a say. Second. Look, the original Under the Sea, yeah, the best. Yeah, one of the best. Undead. It's Undone. this one, the new one. I feel like there's just less energy in it. But Honestly, you haven't seen that. Halle Berry, is that her name? Nope. Halle Bailey. <laughs> Halle Bailey. See, that's not okay. That's pretty. I'm close. not friends with her. You can't get mad at me. Okay. <laughs> also, I haven't seen them in like forever just like call forever. her little mermaid okay hallie the little mermaid h 
Anyways. Yeah. She's great. I think she's going to crush. I don't even want to hate on this movie. Bob was talking to me the other day. He was like, oh, I'm not even going to watch Little Mermaid with you because you're going to ruin the whole experience. I said, I'm the last person that wants to hate on this movie. This movie <laughs> Well, not, the, not that movie, just in general. He's always a critic. And sometimes I enjoy a movie and he walks on and he's like, yes. I don't do that. 6.8 6. out of 10. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, bro. Are you a critic about the movies you watch? Or I am, what? yeah. Do you give things ratings like that? Not really ratings because I don't really know what to go off of as, as far as scale. I just know when I'm like, oh, this movie is like rewatchable, and then I'm. Mm, and then that's I'm like, a good. Oh. That's a good, like, yeah, right. variable there to yeah. go off of. Yeah. If you were to have to rate Guardians, what would you give it? Oof. Out of ten. Ten out of ten. Whoa. I thought it was great. Wow. I wish. Wish I saw it. But. <laughs> Me. 9.2. Yeah. Oh my god. See how it gets? Good. See what? a 10 out of 10 now it's a 9.2. But it's, it's still like it's still that's, like that's rewatchable. Like I would watch I, know, I'm just I would watch it again. It. Like yeah. hands down would watch it again. Even how long it is, people are complaining. Mm-hmm. It's like 3 hours, right? It's one of the longest Marvel movies out. Dang. So, Dang. well if it's good, it's good. It's good. Okay, also what? speaking of that fan bringing up a video. Hi there. Here uh Hi, Neil. Hi, Famous Neil. famously Famously, you know, yeah, talking about your relationships online. Yep, <laughs> you're currently single. I'm guessing we don't know. Um, currently single, yes, we're single too, so we're in the same boat. Mm-hmm. Bro, I want to get you... off this boat. <laughs> yeah, this boat's, this boat's <laughs> what, sinking what quick. Was the, what was the first thing I said to Sebs when I saw him the other day? You said, Yeah, she said I was like, I ha- me. first of all, I haven't seen Sebs in like a month. I yeah. see his car parked all the time, and I'm like, Whoa. Good, good, good to know he's alive. Yeah. Um. But the first thing I said That's to him nice. was like, "Hey, Sam, sorry." He's like, oh, "I'm good." And I was like, "Got a girlfriend yet?" <laughs> Dude. Like, it's because we're we we're at that time. We have to check in. I have to check like, in. Like even right now, I'm like, I assume. Yeah. We don't so, know. Yeah. Anything could change at any point. Dude, right. Dating I mean, in LA is just crazy, bro. It is. It's a little. Yeah. How do you feel about the LA dating culture? The the realm, the fish in this sea that we have to choose from. Um. All right, guys, Brighter Side isn't just the best podcast that you love listening to and enjoy it every day of your life, and it's the best. It's also something you can wear. Season one merch is now available at shopbrighter.co. We got a Brighter Side sweatshirt. We got tees. On the back of everything, it says only pretty people can read this. We got hoodies. Only pretty people can read this. That way you can make strangers smile when you're out and about checking out at the store. They read the back of this and have a little chuckle to themselves. We're out there just trying to make things a little bit brighter. So we have this positive message merch available in a bunch of different colors for limited time for season one merch. So grab it and let's make some strangers smile and put a little bit more positivity out there. And let's get back into the episode. I don't know. I mean, obviously, like I'm back on dating apps, which is so weird. Mm. And like, I'm like, wow, we're back to doing this. Like, Ugh. I, I, I'm like, how do you, how do you meet people not on a dating app out here? Yeah. I, I mean, because I'm maybe going to the movie by yourself. Maybe Funny. maybe another I found solo? Anoth- another solo another solo movie. Just a viewer. loser, dude. <laughs> just another loser. I mean, obviously people just are like, oh yeah, just go out. Each other? Yeah, people are like go out to bars. I'm like, but I I'm too shy to go up to. If I think someone's cute, I'm not gonna go up to. That's them. that's the tough part. I feel like since we're like used to like social media and the internet and stuff, when we actually see someone in real life, yeah. we're not like equipped. We don't know what to no. do anymore. I don't I don't go up to anybody ever. I think about it, but then I'm like. Bleh. Yeah. But that's but, probably why I'm Yeah, like even at bars, dude. Oh, were you talking? My bad. You continue. <laughs> I wasn't. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was just talking about like idea of like going to the bars too. Like even going, approaching a girl at a bar, the music's loud. Everyone's yelling. You're just like, hi, what's up? Yeah. What's your name? I mean, but I feel like those types of scenarios, people are like ready to be approached. If yeah. you're like at Target or if you're like getting gas somewhere or something, yeah. like that's where it's even further out yeah. of like approaching someone. You're like, ah. I don't know. Right. I'm also in a space where I'm like, if it happens, it happens. Yeah. But I'm so like career focused right now that I'm like, it's probably not smart for me to like jump back into because the beginning of something is so much. Yeah. And so I'm like, it's probably smart that I don't. um. Yeah, that's true. The beginning but if it happens. Is, the, the beginning's tough. Mm-hmm. You have to like go through like, oh, what's, yeah. what have you, what's like, your family like? Where'd you grow up? Mm-hmm. What do you do? What do right. You and then it's like and then you get to know each other and then you start like kind of getting a crush and then you get to a point where you're like, if I ask, what are we? Am I going to push them away? Am I going to sound, am I going to seem like the crazy girl that's like, hey, yeah. like, 
you know, we've been talking a little bit. Like, but that's normal. That should, yeah. that should be normal. Uh, yeah, but it's it's so. But in it's, LA, it's yeah more so not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it it's it's more weird to like think that you're going to like be in a relationship with someone if you're talking to them because they're everyone's doing like their Absolutely career. Absolutely agree. Back home, I start if I. St- I'm going on consistent dates with someone. It's like very clear that like we're working towards something. Like yeah. if you get to a point where like, you know, we've gone on kind of dates. Okay. We're clearly yeah. not seeing anybody else. Like, yeah. Oh, like, and then maybe months down the line boyfriend out here. It's this weird. There's so many like weird things. Like, do you, do you feel like girls are saying more? What are we? Or do you think the guys are the ones who are like saying like, what are we? I've had guys ask me, what are we? I've also asked the question, what are we? It's it. But for me, it's always been like a difficult, um, question to bring up because how do you bring it up hey can we hey can we talk and then it just like gets all i mean dr- like yeah. dramatic w- when it gets to that point though i feel like the best case scenario is if it's just like on the table after a few hangs or you know when how, when people know can i ask you this what's up from both of you from a guy's perspective yeah um at what point do you think that question is like i feel okay like- to ask like you've been seeing each other for Three weeks, two months. Well, Bob's been. I mean, I, I feel like I feel like there's not like a set thing, but I think you like personally, if you're talking to someone, you're hanging out, you're talking all the time, you're texting, you're Facetime, and you're blah blah blah. Mm. I feel like that's like super easily know known that that's like going to be brought up, and. But is it known? I, I feel like it's not even a question. I feel like sometimes I think as a guy, you have to just kind of put yourself out there and be like. This I like this, like I want. I just saying it out loud instead of like asking first. Mm-hmm. Just being like, I want to like keep going with this, like yeah. see where it goes, have intention to like be in a relationship, but like let's see what happens. Versus like just being like, oh, like what do you, what do you think? I I have think something about to say. Can I say it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, um, I would just say I think if a girl's asking, what are we? I think that's a red flag. Because Whoa. I think the reason How that's a red flag on, on you, a red flag on the dude, not the girl. Okay, got the it. reason why I'm saying that is because I believe that a man should pursue and be bold and, and so, show his intention. Yeah. And so if he has good intentions and then all of a sudden you guys are like talking, 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 if that question is being brought up, that shows that there's not much leadership Correct. coming from that man or reassurance or reassurance yeah. of, Hey, you're worth pursuing, but not just worth pursuing. You're worth dating. And seeing the potential of getting getting married to you, yeah. And so, if people, if if a dude's putting you in this limbo, this gray zone, and you're asking that question, I would even question what are those guys' motives, right? I don't know. That's well, that's L.A. Sense. Well, yeah, yeah, that's, that's literally a lot of LA. LA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I I, th- I do think it's like comes from the guy a lot, but like they should do it first, I think. But like you said, if they, if it's like three months in and he hasn't brought it up. That's where, I mean, you kind of, I feel like at that point, you kind of have your answer. Right. Right? Like, he's just, right. he's just going with the flow. For sure. Dude needs to take charge. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much a necessity. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, well, I'm stress. speaking of relationships. Okay. We got some news about our, some of our friends, Keenan and Ayla. Yep. We're going to be aunts and uncles. How do you feel about that? I think it is yes. the best thing ever. That's awesome, huh? It's it's actually insane. Do you feel like we like in that moment, obviously we're not gonna reveal the gender mm-hmm. here. Yeah. Because Ayla will <laughs> kill us. Yeah. But do you feel like we all like aged up a little bit in that moment? Like I there was like this feeling I got like <laughs> when they did the reveal. Like I just was looking around and I'm like, Oh my god, this is like we're going into like the next phase of like no, yeah, I feel like I feel like a lot of us. I literally talked about that with a few friends at that time. Was just like, yeah, this is like we went from the era of just being silly, goofy, just yeah. hanging out late nights, blah yeah. blah blah. And that doesn't necessarily mean like that ends, but like it for sure like felt like that era ended, and we all just leaped in that moment. In that moment, yes, yeah, to like that next stage of like, okay, this is normal and acceptable. Yeah at this age and like people are in long relationships. People are going to start getting married. People already are in marriages. Yeah. Um, But yeah. And I mean, yeah, it's a weird feeling because like, that's just life, right? Like there's just different pockets of things. But once it's like that and major life changing, 
it's just yeah it's a different feeling yeah it's like that's why i was processing for like a good day after i was like that's crazy yeah we are 100 percent. yeah i was like who's next like when the doors opened and we saw no it like, literally like hit me like that no me i feel too. everyone yeah. in that moment and especially just reacting to like the happiness yeah. for them i feel like everyone in that moment just like felt this exact same thing of like well this is real now this is real this is happening yeah like and just like sharing that happy moment with like some of our best friends yeah. was just like I don't know. It was just, it was super special. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's pretty wild. Like, I remember like years ago, we would just be like going to these events, going yeah. to these things together, going to VidCon together. We're all here. We're all there. And then all of a sudden now we're just meeting up at each other's houses. Yeah. And we're having more intimate moments. Yeah. I just, I felt, I honestly felt like my youth was gone for a second. Yeah. yeah. I was like, dang, like this is, this is a different phase of life. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. Scared. Well, yeah. And there's, I looked around too at that moment and I was like, there's so many of us. Like, how did we even, like, how did that start? Like, how did we all <laughs> our friend get to group, that point? I always say this. Our, I feel like our friend group grows like 5% every year. Uh, dude. Yeah. By the it's year. Like the stock market. By the yeah. year, like 2040, yeah, we're cool. going to have to like. We're going to have to be like, when we go on trips, we're going to have to separate into groups because like. Yeah, I just, feel like it was like this. It was and then this boink, and then boink, boink, boink. boink. Yeah, yeah. It's, it just keeps expanding, which is great. Does. The babies are going to have like the biggest family, you know, ever. Yeah, that's something that I noticed. I was like, dang, like we're, where did all these people. Yeah. And we're like, we all know each other very well. Yeah. We've been around for like years. Some are newer than others. But yeah. like how, like when you move to LA, because how long have you been here? Like eight years? Yeah. Me too. Um, but like, how did that start? Like, how did you go out and make friends? Like a lot of people in the comments and stuff, they're always talking about how wholesome, how wholesome are, the yeah. friend group is like, Oh, I only know like one person. Like, how did you like make friends? Well, come to a new place? when you brought up like happy moment, like one of my happy moments was like finding this friend group. Mm. And, um, I've been in and out of so many friend groups. Like I was, you want to blast from the past. Have you ever gone through your Facebook messenger messages? Oof. No, oh, not recently. Oh my goodness. I have. I recently did it and I was like, had I not found this thread with this person, I would not have forgotten that we were close at one point. Like it mm. was, it's crazy. And so mm. to see that I was like, wow, I really have been in and out of um, so many different friend groups. And it wasn't yeah. until like I found this one that like it stuck. Like we actually mm. enjoyed spending time together. Like we actually did stuff for each other. Like before it was always, it always felt like transactional relationships. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, but like there are good people in LA and I don't think that's talked enough about because people, yeah. some people are scared to like move out here because LA has this stigma of, you know, obviously everyone out here is like for themselves and like fake. Yeah. But like finding you guys, I was like, no, like there are, there are good people, even though it took me a minute to find it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, yeah. I feel like, yeah. Once you're like in these situations, I feel like to make the friends, it's very natural how it comes across or like yeah. how it just happens. Is like once you're once you're like together, I feel like it just like there's not a specific thing that like happened or like, oh, I had to say this or I had to do that. It's like no. it's just the chemistry. Yeah. I feel like especially for this friend group, because like we're all friends, but we also like work together. Yeah. And like film together. Like the chemistry was just always yeah. just like boom. Yeah. And it wasn't necessarily like trying to do something or having to do something specific. It was just there yeah which is kind of because people will always ask me they'll be like how many friends i'll be like oh it's like they're like when we did white elephant i think there was 32 of us and i was like i'm close to everyone in this room like that's crazy and when i tell people that they're like i'm like no like we really are because i say best friends a lot like if i'm referring to you i say best friend if i'm referring to you i say best friend franny like but what's your bestest friend okay obviously franny is like you know but guy you know, <laughs> you know it's Bob. No, 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 no. Don't put words in your mouth. What? I think it's someone else. Who is it? Who would you say? It's not. I don't think it's me. I'm thinking okay, I'm, well, first I'm top all, 20. You and I, it was you at one point. Whoa. Whoa. And, is this thing rolling? <laughs> Whoa. Are these things recording did this? Did from? we get that? On? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, It was and you at then? one point. We were inseparable at one point. Yeah. But then you like moved. Whoa. I didn't really see the past. Like, I oh, I know what I happened. Really see, I didn't see you. I can. Can I say that? Sure. Word? Go. 2020. Sure. Go. Oh, this That's guy it. Moved to no, the 2020. Yeah. What, what do you think I was going to say? I don't know what you were going to say, actually. Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> but yeah, no. Bobby moved away. I and moved never saw him. So. Five miles away. No, Bob, but in LA, that's about 45 minutes. Bob, you moved so far away. That is true. 
that that did do a little wrinkle. Yeah, we time. didn't we didn't um we didn't see him all much. We're we're getting back into it. You, I mean, you live two feet away. That's true. Now, um, so so who? <laughs> that wasn't the question. Well, well, who would be number one? I would, would you say I would right say, now. When I say my, who my best guys friend guest guys hello yeah. when i when i refer to my best guy friends oh i know I, who it is Can i, I say you and i say david i knew it was I, david. I thought it was yeah. david i thought that, that's what i was gonna say yeah okay i didn't even make that's the good. top 10 i, but I know for <laughs> a fact i'm not even well, in the Seth, top 10 i have not seen you well, yeah. in forever i was in a music video though that's true yeah that's true you have let's talk about this for what? a second yeah. you have this like secret life that's I not can't. even secret yeah I'm Hannah but Montana. It's, it's so nonchalant <laughs> to like says that. to like within us. Everyone says that. Like, I I could be like, hey, Nez, like, uh, do you want to film a mukbang or something? You're like, oh, I'm in New Orleans. <laughs> I'm on tour. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> what? And yeah, then I like look at your story and it's like packed, sold out. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> yeah. You're up there like whipping your hair yeah, around. I didn't and really it, like invite any of y'all to tour except for LA and I feel like I just kind of like left and was like everyone knew I was like kind of doing that because I was busy but I never like really like there was never like hey guys I'm going on tour like who wants to come along I didn't make it a big deal yeah uh, you just it's nonchalant it's like yeah and you're, but you're going out there yeah. to like huge crowds yeah. huge cities yeah and it's not like you're not bragging about it you're not like <laughs> You're not saying anything. <laughs> I know. I come home. Like, even when we did the video, I was like, hey, guys, like, put out this video. Like, can you guys react? But I never, like, make it like a... Yeah, like we're I, like, oh, we'll react. We check it out. It's like a movie production. <laughs> bro, like, 50 people on oh, set. Oh, but Seth was there. And it was you just, like, the biggest thing ever. Yeah. Bro, you should have seen it. I show up at this place. It is, like, full-on Hollywood. It was a movie set. It was yeah. a movie set. I was like, I thought I was like, you know, we're just going to take a Canon camera or something like that. Do you remember what HBO show they were filming that we couldn't like? I don't even remember. There was like, they had like some stuff set up, mm -hmm. it, but it had like Arabic all over yeah. it. Yeah. So they were like, hey, like try not to like film too uh, much because that's for the show. Yeah. But I don't remember what show it was. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you're like, oh, can you react to this video real quick? <laughs> movie set. <laughs> just Steven Spielberg yeah. directed it. Didn't it? Uh, yeah. By yeah. the way, like, yeah, it's. But do you, remember, a huge movie. do you remember like the time that we realized like Neza was like a movie star? I, I remember. remember VidCon. Like, like VidCon was. VidCon. Oh my gosh, Vid that was awesome. Seb's, Seb's reaction to I me. I think I cried. Seb's reaction to me getting off stage. Or no, Seb's reaction. That whole vlog that I put up. Like right. I still watch it sometimes. That's a good. Dude. I'm glad the video. Yeah. Right before yeah. she was at VidCon, she was playing like main stage. And yeah. like there's a ton of people. She's like, hey, can you film for me real quick? I'm like, yeah, I'll film. <laughs> Fireworks. <laughs> Fireworks. And I'm like, dude, what? I'm like watering up as I'm like filming really? it because yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is insane. This yeah. is crazy. But like, yeah, I feel like that's just in general, like you just have this like secret life. That's it's, not secret because everyone knows about it's it. It's my alter ego. Like it's so crazy who I am like at home. Just like because people who asked me this recently, they're like, how do you like, how are you like bookworm, but also like this like pop star? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I forgot your book. Yeah. You just post about books all day and I then know. you go to New York and do a and sold out like, show and yeah everyone's I, screaming someone just asked me like what do you do in your free time when you're like not doing like music stuff and i was like i read <laughs> and it's like polar opposite of like what i do on stage obviously i catch a good book yeah i catch here good, and there a good read yeah but yeah no i mean music is my first love the stage is my happy place do you like touring oh, i well, yeah i loved it i came back on such like a a high and i just i'm so eager yeah to be back yeah touring no, it's fun. Like I used to tour probably like 10 years yeah. ago at this point. Yeah. It was, it's like a whole different life than like YouTube and yeah. all that stuff. I mean, I basically did it alone. It was just me and my drummer. You're crazy. Oh, that's cool. I just, Sorry. yeah, I just met with, um, I was having meetings this week and I was explaining to them like, you know, next phase of my life and, and what we're doing. And they were like, you went on this tour alone. <laughs> Bro. And I was like, yeah, See, that's the thing. I, I, was like, I, You're crazy. I was like, I acted as my own tour manager. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was, but you know what, even though it was the most stressful experience of my life mm -hmm. and traumatic because I cried through the whole thing. So I was so exhausted from doing everything, yeah. but I learned 
what's expected of each job now. So if I'm yeah. hi- if I if I'm to hire a tour manager, I know what's capable of being done mm-hmm. and what's expected. If I have, you know, someone coming in running playback, I like know what's expected. Yeah, so and it's just a like good everything. And I like I was running my merch table, I would set it up, I'd set all the p- iPads out for the people, like I know what's expected. Yeah. Um so that was like a, it was a good learning lesson. Yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty insane. Tour is crazy. It was fun. Well, I have to end this whole thing. Jeez. Because it's, it's... What time is it? It's been 40... Wow. It, does, it really... It's Dang, just time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. It, it, did you like it so yeah. far? Yeah. Okay. I, I have like a closing... I have a closing question that I ask everybody. Okay. You're my second person. That I don't <laughs> ask like everybody, but... Yeah. Was there a time in your life where someone was like kind to you? Mm. That like made a big difference to you? Mm. On the subject of brighter side, happy things. Was there someone that like that you remember that like they did something something good and out of just like kindness to you? Well, I feel like other than everyone in this friend group being just so welcoming mm. and like bringing me in and you know that like made me realize that there are good people out here. Yeah. I will say that like David, he's going to watch this and like never let me live it down. <laughs> um David changed my life. Yeah. And if it wasn't for David out of the goodness of his heart being like because Univision, when I moved into that house where we were creating music in that house, mm-hmm. they reached out to David and asked if he knew anyone mm. Mm. that wanted to make music. Yeah, oh, cool. Females. Well, he's number one, dude. And oh. had he not just like, and I had met him, I had known him for like days at that point. I had known him for like a week. Dang. And I remember I was over at his house and he was like, hey, by the way, said it so nonchalant, I was like, hey, by the way, like, I got reached out by Univision and like they asked if I knew anyone. And so I like I pitched you and it changed my life. Yeah. I wouldn't be here without that, without him just out of the goodness of his heart being like, oh, yeah, let me like she's like, you know, I believe in her. Let me like help her out. That's, That's so awesome. True. That's cool. Yeah. And th- I mean, stuff like that just kind of goes to show like, yeah, there's good people everywhere that you would never even like think that that would even happen. No. Or like that knowing him would lead to that or being his friend or being kind to him well no especially because like at that point i had already been through so many horrible things with people in la wow. yeah and so like i was i i just at that point i was i was at a point where like i didn't expect anything from anyone yeah wow. um and so that was yeah changed everything that's awesome i mean yeah that that just goes to show like you never know when things are going to change no. mm-hmm. when things are right around the corner that's just like extremely good that you can't even imagine because that scenario or like that situation, you probably would never imagine that that was even like a thing to like move into a house. I was working at PacSun music. still. Yeah. I had, oh my I, I was still gosh. working at PacSun. Yeah. Like I, I was, I was not an influencer when yeah. I met him. I was not, this was not like the life I saw myself. Do. Like I wasn't, like, it was crazy. I was yeah. still working at PacSun, just regular job, you know, working nine to five, five to 10, like yeah. Just in my apartment, like still dancing on the side. I still wow. was signed, so I was still auditioning. I was still doing dance jobs. Yeah. That's um, crazy. I did Kids Choice Awards the week. I'm pretty sure like the week I moved into the house, I was still yeah. da- like I was still dancing. That's awesome. Um, and then I, I quit PacSun like a month into moving into the house. Let's go. That's crazy. Well, see, yeah, that, that yeah. just goes to show. Be kind, people. Be or, kind. You know, just you never know ex- what's going to change someone's yeah. life. Like yeah. he didn't know that was going to change my life forever. No, that one little thing. That's insane also because like I, when I met you, I thought that you were just part of the friend group <laughs> at that time. Like to think, I didn't, I had just found this out. We started like at the same time yep. in the friend group because mm. yep. I just had met you and I, w- I would go to that house yep. and where was it? What in was Silver Lake. In yeah, that was, that yeah. was, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Wow. Well, there you go. Yeah. Round so it things, up. things could change in a second for anyone right around the corner. Yep. Good things. Yeah. That's what's up. Okay. Do you have any last response? Anything to say? Spons. Anything to add? Anything to, no, anything? Just, just happy to be here. Oh, took my exit slogan. Oh, um, way. <laughs> no way. Um, no, just happy to be here. Um, I love doing things like these and um, stay hungry, stay humble. Let's go. Well, thanks for being on. Brighter side. Brighter side. Let's go. That's it. Yay. All right. We did it. Yay. Let's go. Very good. Good job, Ned. Thanks, guys. Let's go. Do you like it?